If we had a perfect Republican Party, would that help the blacks get better? Well, so we'll, you have to ask yourself, well, what does that look like? No, I'm uh, just saying, if we had whatever perfect mean, would the blacks get better or would they stay the same? Um, like you said, you know, both parties is ran by greed. You know, so in order for anybody to get better, you got to change who's ever at the top making the decisions. Um, because apparently they know how to stay in power and how to shift what it looks like to be help. But if the reality of it is, I'm just trying to maintain my own political power. Uh, but I do believe that, you know, the Republican Party uh, does rebrand itself. Um, you know, there's a couple of things that I know personally could really help the Republican Party. Uh, one, some of the language we need to move away from. You know, we need to define what does America first look like? Because when you read history, you know, America first doesn't sound like it involved anybody else but white people. That's the perception that the Democrats have put on individuals. When you think of, you know, when America was first established, remember it was established by, you know, the 56 white signatures on the, you know, the paper of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. And so when you think of America first, the first signatures that were on there were not one colored or woman signature on there. So nice. That, so that mindset, what does America first look like to the people who haven't bought into the America? Because the reality of it is America first helps everyone. You know, a closed border. I'm thinking about your business. I just spent two weeks. I was at Black Wall Street. Guess what Black Wall Street is about? America first. They're thinking about capitalism. They're thinking about black entrepreneurship. That's American first concept. So you believe... They, they want a closed border. You know, black folks in Georgia believe that, you know, illegal immigration is hurting them. No. So, you know, so that message resonate with them. They just not seeing it where, how does this play a part in my economic stability? So you believe that if we had all that, a perfect Republican party, whatever perfect mean, that black people would get better? Yeah, well, so black people are getting better, and that's the thing about it, too. Um, I just, like I said, I just spent two weeks in a city to where I saw black excellence at, at its highest level. You know, going around a different business, I, I saw more Down black. In Georgia? Yeah, I saw more black doctors, more black dentists, more black entrepreneurs. You know, I saw kids walking around, you know, excited about their educational opportunities. I spent time at Spelman University and Morehouse. So I saw black people in the light of excellence, beautiful black communities, not ran down. There wasn't shoes on the wires. And so there's black folks throughout America that are doing exceptionally well. The media just don't have an appetite for that. But still, even though they may have all those things, inwardly they're still angry. What make they you think believe that, that racism exists. They still vote. So that's for, not them. They that's still the... vote for the Democratic Party because they have not taken responsibility for their own lives inwardly. They're not thinking for themselves. They think in groups. They think in color rather than in the right way. Well, every, everyone should think in groups as far as building up because, you know, you need an intersectionality of support. You need a collective, you know, community to grow and thrive in. I mean, nobody, you don't grow by yourself. You so you should be thinking in color and groups? What do you mean in color? Like they, they, they're about their blackness. They identify with their blackness. Well, and I, I they, think, identif they think that all black people are brothers and sisters. I think every, I think every ethnic group do the same thing. You know, but and I, it's before the civil rights movement, black people didn't think that way. And they did much better than... I grew up in Alabama uh, when the Jim Crow law existed. And prior to the civil rights movement, black people didn't think in color. And they didn't think in community. They didn't think... They thought as individuals. And they took care of themselves and their families and they wouldn't let us play with the bad black kids because they knew the, pa the black parents were no good. And uh, they voted for people that represented their principles rather than their color. And that's why they started the Republican Party because they, the black were not allowed and I, and, in the and, Democratic Party. And I think that they still, there's, uh, like I said... But there's, ever since the civil rights oh movement, they fell for the lie about color and that all blacks are the same. And it's just been downhill ever since. So... I, and I've gone on record and I've said that the Civil Rights Movement was probably one of the most detrimental movements it was towards the black worst people. worst thing other than abortion. Because, it, you know, 
me being on city council, I understand what happens when you spend your money outside of your community. And I think that there was an appetite to spend it up the street than right in your community. Because the moment you do that, you start shutting down those businesses. And it's one of the reasons why they're trying to revisit that concept. I think that prior to the 1960s, you didn't have to see color because all you did was saw one color. When you were in communities that was all black, there was no contrast. There was nothing to compare it to uh, until the civil rights movement. And so people was under the impression that, you know, white people had it better up the road, you know, that they had it better in, you know, their institutions. Yeah. Now, you can argue that, it's not you know, true, though, because they built black universities back then, and they were good schools. Well, you're right, and, and, and that's one of the things that people, you know, but it, it wasn't about being a black school. It was what society was accepting when you went to certain schools. You know, um, would someone accept someone Harvard over Howard? How many, how, how many Harvard graduates would be accepted before a Howard graduate would be let in. We'd you know? be accepted where? Like as far as law firms, you know, um, you know. But the blacks built their own law firm. They didn't. They didn't. They weren't trying to force their way into someone else's stuff. And they would always tell us while we were growing up, if someone don't want you in their home, or they don't want you in their business, they have a right not to want you there. Absolutely. Matter of fact, I remember when the civil rights movement started, and I was still a teenager. I remember when Martin Luther King and all those guys started that whole mess. And, uh, and they start forcing their way into white businesses, sitting at the counter, you gotta give me, feed me anyway kind of thing, and the whites didn't wanna do it. Mm -hmm. The older black people said, that doesn't make sense. You don't have a right to impose on someone else's business like that. If they don't wanna feed you, go start your, make your own meal. They had that kind of mentality. They don't have that anymore. So, and, and, and I get where you're coming from, and so then the question would, and, and the question would come is, okay, so now that we're in 2022, um, with all of the advancements, because there has to be a shift in the mindset. And I said, one of the biggest things would be is black folks need to see other black people thriving to know that these things is possible. But if the media continue to keep showing the worst of the side of black people, they're, they're gonna think that this is all we're good at. You know, we're only good at being entertainers. But not if they are a free, spirit person, if they had love of their hearts, they wouldn't be thinking that. Because as an individual, you don't, you neither think that somebody or something can hold you back, or cannot, or can't, uh, uh, you neither think they can or cannot hold you back. You just live your life. And it's not based on what's happening out there, it's based on what's happening within. I never, never, ever, ever think that I can or cannot do something. I didn't grow up thinking we never gonna have a black president in the country. So I I just it just wasn't a part of my thinking and it just seemed dumb to think that way. So I didn't think like that either. However, and this and, and it's good that you you invited me to come on today because in the last two weeks I've never seen what my eyes witnessed as far as black excellence. Because two weeks ago I would have been under that mindset that all we are is entertaining. And I know that we've done more and I know we've accomplished more. I do too. But to see it in such an abundance as the way I saw it in Stonecrest, Georgia, the way I saw it in, you know, talking to different, you know, business owners. You know, I, I met a lady um, that started a vegan business, you know, Pinky Cole. You know, she started this business five years ago and she's up to eight, you know, restaurants now. You know, her business is worth over a hundred million dollars, you know. We should be telling this huge story, you know, Tyler Perry. So, you know, to see black educators walking around the community, cities need to see that overwhelmingly. You know, it's like a real Wakanda in a sense. But that still wouldn't help the black because look at, uh, you mentioned Tyler Perry, right? Mm -hmm. Look at Tyler Perry, he owns a studio, he make movies, he's funny. Uh, his movies are interesting, but in his heart, they're still into the black thing. They still believe racism exists. And as long as they're pushing this idea of racism, that's what's holding the blacks back because they are angry. So what and is anger is evil? So I I had this conversation about my race when I ran for office, and I honestly believe I honestly believe that there were some whites that didn't vote for me, Republicans, because I was black. I was overwhelmingly endorsed by the Republican Party, 
shares, you know, tons of endorsements. And I actually happened to hear a conversation of a couple of white gentlemen who were walking by. We were putting up uh, flags at a park uh, right. in my city. And they didn't even realize I was standing right there. And they literally were like, yeah, I voted for the Democrat on there. I just couldn't see myself voting for him. And I'm like, okay, I'm over here doing all these amazing things. You know, I sued the governor to open up the school. You know, I've always been someone that put other people's needs above myself. Uh, you know, the Herschel Walker race showed itself. Uh, there are individuals, and I can't say everyone, but there are individuals that still have an issue with color. And this is on both sides. This is some black folks that have issue with white people because of the color, but there's some white folks that have issue with black people because of color. And so should they have voted for you because you were black? Absolutely. No, that's not. No, <laughs> no, no. no. I, you know, so there's nothing wrong with that. And no, they, they say, well, I don't want to vote for him because he's black. Right, uh, but you have to. You have to. What would be your underlining reason when you looked at my qualifications? Well, I, I don't know because I didn't talk to them per se. Right. right. But my point is, uh, there's nothing wrong if they decided not to vote for you because you're black, or to vote for you because you're black. That's a decision that yeah. each individual make, right? Be, because there are white people who won't vote for the great white hope, for example. He's the oh, best. Absolutely. He's the best president, Donald Trump, that we ever had. And there are white people who won't vote for him because he's white. There are white people who voted for Obama because he was black. And so people made dumb, stupid stuff, right? Because they can't see. Um, but I just want you to, I'm just and there wondering. Were, there, were, there were black people who voted for Obama just because he was black. Yeah, so, I, I mean, know, what a mess. It,